So for this video starts, these are the likes on my most recent videos, and none of them are above even 3,000. So if we could hit 5,000 likes on this video, this would be insane. So uh, drop a like if you enjoy. Bye. Do you keep missing shots on GTA? Do you keep getting bodied by tryhards? Do you watch other YouTubers and wish you could be as good as them? Then don't worry, because this video is just for you. Number one. So the first thing you want to do is set up everything. So if you're on PC, this works with Nvidia graphics cards. I think there's a similar thing with AMD. But you're going to want to go to your Nvidia control panel. Then go to Manage 3D settings. And you're going to want to copy all of these. The most important one is low latency mode. You want to put that on ultra. Also on PC, you want to use the lowest graphics settings possible as it generally reduces input lag. These are the ones that I have. The most important one would be motion blur. You'd want to turn motion blur off. If you are using a controller, make sure it's plugged in. If you're wondering about Xbox, there's not really any settings that you really need to change. The only thing would be to plug in Ethernet so you don't lag as much. On PS4, if you're using the second generation controller, you'll want to make sure that the communication mode is through USB cable. Also make sure you turn off HDR and deep color output as they tend to increase input lag. And again if you can make sure you use Ethernet, especially on PlayStation 4 because the Wi-Fi card is awful. So one of the things you want to set up is your monitor. Now this is the monitor I've got, it's LG, but um, what you're going to want to do is put it into a game mode of some sort. It's going to be different for yours. Number two. So now you're all set up, you want to sort out your GTA 5 setting. Most of you will probably be using a controller. Standard FPS 2 is I'm quite a good control one, type, but you can use R1 to sprint, or RB if you're on Xbox controller. Okay, what? When did snow come out? So if you use an R1 or RB to sprint, running is like normal. If you aim down sights, you can move a lot faster. This is without pressing sprint, moving quite slow. But if you're pressing R1, move a lot faster. Now the same effect can be done if you're playing claw with uh, standard but using R1 seems a lot more comfortable for me and will probably be more comfortable for most people. This also means you look around with the right stick while running instead of looking around with the left, left stick and looking at where you're going. Now it's hard to explain but if you try it you'll know what I mean. Now for aiming settings, mine are the highest you can be except for this but I'm playing on PC right now so high sensitivity it feels a lot slower than on console. But if this is your first time ever really messing around with settings, these are the settings that I use on console. And I find them quite good for sniping. Now this is just a quick reminder, but the third person aiming sensitivity is what controls your scope. So even if you're moving around in first person, whatever your third person aim sensitivity will be, that's how fast your scope will move. If you want to change any sniping setting, change your third person, not first. Another thing you're going to want to play on is allow movement when zoomed. This means that you can move around with sniping. It's kind of obvious, but you never know. <laughs> now camera settings are kind of important. First person auto level camera. This uh, is when you look down and you sprint straight into your camera. I don't like that. Some people might, but I have that turned off. I have my field of view on the highest so I can see the most around. So it gives me more awareness. It's personal preference, really. First person ragdoll. So yeah, it switches straight away to third person and I'm pretty much stuck. If I turn on first person ragdoll, I fall over in first person. Now I can access my interaction menu, go passive mode or something. It's kind of scummy but it helps if you get hit by a car in the middle of a fight. You don't have to die. The other one, first person combat roll. I don't like this. You can't really adjust your aim that well. You don't really know where you're going because of the blur. If you turn off first person combat roll, it's a lot nicer. It's a technique that a lot of people use so if you're on the beach, someone spawns behind you, quick roll, snipe bump. First person head bobbing, this doesn't really make that much of a difference. Some people like it, I don't mind it, but I have it turned off because why not? 
Now another setting you'll want to turn off is in display on console. I'll show a video clip of it here. On PC it's under post effects and it's called in-game depth of field effects. Now if you're trying to snipe someone it makes things seem blurry. If you're not di aiming directly at them, as you can see, it takes a while to adjust. If you turn that off, there's no change in focus and everything's sharp. Doesn't look as nice, but it helps a lot when fighting. Number three. Now something that not many people will talk about would be an outfit that blends in with your environment. So at night time, it actually helps with a dark black outfit. And if you snipe on the beach, a tan outfit doesn't help as much. If you're fighting in the snow and fog, a white outfit might help. Now I'd say a black outfit would be the most useful. So I'm going to show you how to quickly make one. I'm pretty sure it's the same clothes for a male character. But I'll show a clip now of how to make a male character. Some people might not think a bulletproof helmet is fair, but it helps you from not getting headshotted, so I think it's worth it. These trousers, you don't really need to have these like this. You can have maybe leather trousers. This will stop you from being seen at night. This looks kind of cool, I think. Number four. Where are your fingers? A lot of people can't do is move and zoom in while sniping at the same time. Uh, this is what I do while I'm holding the controller. I have my left index finger on the up arrow, my thumb on the thumbstick, and my middle finger on L2. And then I play like that. As you can see. On PC, I use control to zoom in. So I'll have my, I'll have my fingers on W, A, S, and D, and have my pinky finger and control, which zooms in, and that's what my hand will look like. Number five. So when you're ready to start practicing your aim, go into director mode. And then select either a main story mode character or an online character, because they're the only characters you can use to go into first person. Next you want to go somewhere open so you can practice your aim. If you go somewhere like the hills over here, you'll get a lot of helicopters coming after you. This will mean you can practice your vehicle sniping. Now if you change the time to midday, so it's easier to see. And then change your wanted status to high. You also want to turn invincibility on and you don't really need to fiddle with any of the settings. Now just shoot at all the cops and practice for different weapons to get a feel and hopefully your aim for your start improving. It might take a while but hopefully the more you practice the better you should get. Now if you go somewhere open like the airport or maybe the beach you'll have a lot of ground cops that you can shoot at 